All right. Well, overseas this past weekend, one championship had one on Prime Video 2, uh, with the main event being uh, Zhang Jingnan against Angela Lee. Uh, let us discuss this main event, gentlemen. Uh, it happened at Women's Strawweight. And for the one Women's Strawweight Championship, and Zha, uh, excuse me, Zhang Jingnan defeated Angela Lee by unanimous decision. The scores... Uh, are not printed No here. scores, no scores. It's, oh, that's uh, right, because it's graded like on a whole. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Omar, let me start with you. What was your uh, your take on Jing Nan getting it done over, over Angela Lee? Back and forth fight, tough fight. How did you see it? Yeah, this was a really good fight. Um, I got to definitely give credit to Angela Lee where, where she deserves it. Um, you know, for somebody who's not technically a striker, she hung in there, and she scrapped with this girl. Um, she got dropped a couple of times. She got lit up a few times. Um, there, there are sequences where she was getting, you know, hit with two and three hit combos, but she hung in there, man. She hung in there. She, she held her ground. She started to come forward and throw counter strikes at, at a lot of those opportunities. Um, definitely made sure that, that, uh, how do we pronounce her name? Zhang? Zhang. 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 She made sure that she left with just as many welts on her face as, as Angela Lee left. Um, it was definitely a big, big back and forth fight. I had trouble kind of seeing where this was going in certain moments just because the, the momentum would change every now and again. Um, I think while Angela Lee had her moments and definitely had a few of them throughout five rounds, I think uh, Zhang Jingnan at the end of the day deserved that that decision i did think last week when i gave my my picks that you guys read out i thought angela lee would be able to weather the early storm um and eventually she'd be able to take it to the ground and, and kind of work her way i didn't think she'd be able to get it as early as she did um in in her first fight uh but i did think that she eventually would find a submission but it's such a hard fought fight from both women that you know just the way it goes yeah man Mark, what was your take? How did you see this fight between Zhang and Lee? Sorry, Omar, I, I was reading something for a second there. You said you did think Zhang won it? I did. I did. I thought it was a hard... It, it, again, because we're not doing, like, by rounds, we're not... I wasn't yeah. scoring by rounds. At the end of the fight, I, I, I just thought that she had won the fight, just overall, yeah. you know? Fair. I mean, this thing was a great freaking fight. It absolutely lived up to the billing and, and the hype, um... But, yeah, I'm struggling a little bit. Like, the point was to break the tie, kind of, and tell us once and for all who's the better fighter. And I still don't know what the answer is. Yeah, like, that's not no, it. Does anyone <laughs> out there? I mean, that shit practically felt like a draw. Like, I, I know yeah. all three judges saw it for Zhang, and, and I'm pretty sure that was because of the, the damage factor, and damages weighed heavily in one. Um, but, man, that thing felt friggin' close. Like, round one was really where Zhang did all her work. She She came yeah. out and poured it on Angela, dropped her multiple times, and it looked like she was going to get her out of there, honestly. But Angela Lee is tough as hell. She took a beating in that round and got up from her stool to start round two and just immediately brought it to Zhang and turned the tide. By minutes into round two, the tide was already turned. Um, so that was super impressive. She uh, she got that Darce choke in, in, in round two and then starts landing all those knees against the fence. She starts finding her range finding her rhythm, um, you know, she was moving way better in the striking. I was really impressed by, Omar said the same thing, but I was really impressed by Angela Lee's striking. Like, she's made a lot of improvements there. I, I didn't think that she could hang in pure striking exchanges in that fight the ways that she did, but her kicks are so fast. She's so light on her feet. Um, and those adjustments kind of continued, like, the whole fight long to the point that as we get through round three, and then especially, I thought, in round four, where Zhang seemed very stagnant, almost like she was kind of just waiting and, and maybe catching a breather, I was kind of starting to feel like, is Angela Lee going to find a way to take this fight? Because, yeah, she got her ass beat early, but it's kind of been a little bit now of her edging it out and edging it out and edging it out. And, and you know, it was for two reasons that it got so close. It was that, number one, Angela Lee is tough as hell and just is a tough night in the cage for anyone. And if you don't get her out of there... She's going to put it on you. And the second is that Zhang just became so fixed on this strategy of countering all fight long and making Lee come get her that she kind of almost let it slip away because, like, yeah, that strategy works great if you're landing big shots like in round one. But when you're not, 
you're kind of just letting the cards get away from you because she was letting Lee walk her down, letting Lee land first, and she kind of almost fucked around and, and blew that. Um, and in round five, I'm going to say with like two minutes left in round five, and maybe the judges weren't on the same page here. They were unanimous for Zhang, so they, it sounds like they were pretty set on that. But like two minutes left in round five, I started to think like, fuck, I think Angelou's going to steal this fight. And then Zhang... I think maybe kind of sense she wasn't having a great stretch and she turned it up those last two minutes, I would say. And then when it ended, I was, I was literally of all the fights I've watched. I think that's probably like in my top 10 fights where the fight ended. And I was like, I don't have a clue who just won that fight. Like I really, I had, I literally was 50 dead 50, 50 on who I thought should win that fight. Um, so <clears throat> great fight. The damage is what carried the night for Zhang. I'm sure. Really tough loss for Angela Lee to stomach, especially battling through it the way she did and, and coming back the way that she did. I'm sure she feels like shit right now. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting one in that example of full fight scoring versus round scoring. Like, we say mm-hmm. we, we prefer the full fight scoring, and I do. But here, it felt so damn even that I started thinking, like, man, what would the round scoring be? Yeah, so did I. And I don't know. It would have been 10-8 for Zhang in the first <laughs> round. Did Zhang win one of the others? Like, I think she probably did. So would it have been 47-47 even in round scoring? Like, I don't know. It was just a close-ass fight. But props to Zhang for getting it done. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm not super familiar with the the depth chart over at one championship. Do either of you guys have any suggestions of of what might be next for for, uh, Zhang Jingnan? I don't need to be familiar because what I want to be next is a fourth fight. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, feel like we get the freaking answer. Like it, it wasn't decided for me. So I, maybe Angela Lee has to put her belt up now. And Jingnan's reward for winning is that she gets to have another shot at becoming double champ. If she's willing yeah. to make the cut again. Yeah. I don't know if that interests her or not, but after the fight, she said she'd be willing to fight Lee again. Cause she knew it was close. If Lee wins, we can do a fifth. I could just do this matchup forever. I mean, I'm yeah. sure there's other girls who who want shots at these titles. I mean, granted, Stamp, it, I think, is still the number, number one contender for Angela Lee's title, and Lee just beat her. Hmm. So, I don't know, but it, it doesn't feel resolved to me. I mean, yeah, agreed. It was a super close fight. Yeah. I'm Team Lee um, all the way, though. And just to, to quickly mention the other few other relevant fights yeah, on one, I'll, you, I'll yeah. touch on Stamp, who I just brought up. Um. She was in the co-main. Well, a grappling match was the co-main. The co-main MMA fight um, looked really good. She beat Rajwan. Showed how well-rounded she's becoming. She dropped her a couple times. Defended takedowns. She looked. She looked dangerous in the grappling. She was really starting to round out that MMA game. And she fought Angelique kind of early on. I wonder, like two years from now, what Stan Fairtex MMA game looks like because she's she's very talented. Um, and then two other notable results from this card. We're at lightweight, um, where Christian Lee is the champ. You had, wait, I'm sorry. Speaking, well, yeah, all right, I'll do that fight first then. Where Christian Lee is the champ. You had uh, Timofey Nasjukin, who is, I believe he was ranked number three coming into this. He's someone who's kind of in that title mix. He fought a debuting fighter named Halil Amir, who I'm not familiar with. And Nasjukin looked pretty good early, got over aggressive in round two, got clipped hurt bad and to Ness Yukin's credit my god did this guy try hard to get back to his feet I mean he was in a barrage for like 45 seconds I don't even know what it was trying to stand back up trying to stand back up trying to stand back up and eventually his body was just like dude we can't move anymore like even he was still looking up like he was like trying to get his head up and his body just wasn't coming with him so that's a tough motherfucker but enormous debut for Halil Amir who throws himself right in this mix in uh the lightweight division where Christian Lee's the champ. And then similar result in the other notable fight on this card, um, which is where Martin Nguyen, who uh, was ranked number three as well in the featherweight division, where Tang Kai is champ, uh, was fighting, trying to get himself close to a title shot. He was also fighting a debuting fighter. His name is Ilya Fremenov. I don't know who this man Ilya Fremenov is. I've never seen him fight before. This was his debut in one. He fucking wrecked Martin Nguyen. His striking and combos were so clean and packed so much heat. I was wildly impressed. If you have not seen this fight, it's a quick one. 
go find this fight. And he calls out Tank Kai immediately after the fight. I don't know if he's getting that right away. He probably has got to get another win, I would imagine, before he's fighting for, for a title. But that is a dude to watch.